So here we are. We're going to view the second level of the Princess Margaret Home Lottery Show Home. And there is a lot to see up on the second level. And what's interesting about this house is it doesn't have a lot of hallways. You come upstairs and what would normally be a hallway with doors becomes this really exciting space. And because we're limited in how much square footage, that doesn't count as square footage. So why not take advantage of that space? So we raise the ceiling in the dining room. We have this bridge that connects the bedrooms on one side with the primary bedroom on the other side. So they're different wings. The principal bedroom is really a beautiful space. I just love it. It's so bright and it really is an oasis away from everywhere in the house. I love white bedding, and this one I designed with a traditional pattern, but in white it looks so modern in this shiny sateen. Now, oversized headboards, again, something I love. It's made of the main headboard and the wings on either side and the upholstered box all the way around. Really cozy and comfy and modern. Now, for the bedroom furniture, like the night table, love this wood. It's sort of a taupey gray wood with the marble top. The marble top is actually really practical if you put a drink down or anything down on it. Very serviceable, but a wonderful wood that works with the fabric and creates this enveloped feel. Now, when people are designing their houses, they often overlook the volume of space that's in the attic. So we take advantage of that. We carve into the roof and we did that in this bedroom so we get all that height. And why not? You've got all that space up in the attic anyway. I love having a fireplace in the bedroom and lots of doors and lots of windows looking out into the garden. Now, the dressing room's open as soon as you walk in the door to the suite. And what we did was closed cabinetry and did this beautiful silk wall covering on the doors. And for the island, I mirrored it in bronze. And this leads into the ensuite. The ensuite is, again, like a spa. We used a patterned floor in creams and whites. And instead of doing one long vanity, I did two vanities and created alcoves and trimmed the alcoves in black metal. And the vanities have black trim on them, so that ties in all the black and we use black plumbing fixtures, which is really on trend right now. And, and I really think it adds a nice contrast to the space. Now where the tub is, it's sort of an alcove area with a window off to the side. But to soften this space, I did full length drapery in that area and then hung a piece of art behind the bathtub and this helps with the bathroom i love drapes in the bathroom it softens the space it helps with the echo there's a warmth to it and then we have a shower and a water closet which has frosting on it so this really is a spa in the principal suite the nursery oh my goodness that nursery is so adorable that is a space that is very bright because we have windows on two sides and the room is so charming. It's a it's sort of a gender neutral space. We did the fun mural that has the hot air balloons and then a very colorful carpet. It's almost candy stripes. When we do a shared ensuite, I like to break it up into compartments. So what we have is the large area where you walk in, which has the double vanity. And what I did was behind the vanity, I did the subway tiles from floor to ceiling, which is so practical for kids. And we did light fixtures and tilt mirrors in there. So for the little ones, it can tilt down or it can tilt up. And then the shower is in a compartment and the toilet is in a separate compartment. So, you know, two children can be using different areas at the same time. I think it's a great space. Another bedroom on the second level, which is off the shared bathroom with the nursery, is I think a very charming bedroom. And what we did was instead of building the closets, which we would typically do drywall and doors, we thought what we would do is build them out of millwork. So it looks more like furniture and it looks less bulky and incorporate a desk area into that space. I think it just looks a little lighter and it looks a little more bespoke having built-in millwork in that bedroom. 
This bedroom is a great room. It has lots of windows. We did this bold color. The color really was inspired from the carpet. And this is, you know, such an easy way to have fun with rooms, especially for kids. Use bold colors if they're that type of child and have fun with color because it's so easy to change it in a year or two. And we kept all the furniture neutral around it. So if we want to change the paint color, that's easy. That room has an ensuite and I love that room. I use wallpaper in all bathrooms, and this almost looks like a blue herringbone. And it's a small vanity, but it introduces a wood finish to the drawers that ties into the bedroom, and there's a lightness to it. You know, second floor laundry rooms have become increasingly popular. And this one is very interesting because in the plan, we had a hallway that led to the laundry room, only to the laundry room. And I decided instead of having that hallway to incorporate that hallway into the laundry room and created what I think is a more spacious laundry room. We have a stack washer dryer, we have storage in there. So that is your linen closet. There was a window that was gonna be closed off because it was on the design for the outside. And when I came here with the framing, I'm like, okay, let's jog the wall a little bit and keep that window and it's a great space. And then we use fun lighting and fun wallpaper. So not only is it a utility space, it's a fun space. And that area that we captured as the hallway, that skinny area is perfect if you put hooks on the wall and hang things to dry or you've ironed things and hang them there. So it is actually a practical space also. You know, when I do show houses, often it's for wonderful charities. You want to inspire the people that come to this house. You want them to leave to feel inspired that they want to go home and they want to do something to their house and they want to make it more beautiful. You don't want them to come to a house and go, oh, that's bizarre, why would that be done? I don't think that advances sort of design. Um, so for me, I, I'm more about inspiring people and, and I hope, you know, I think this house is, if I may say so myself, fabulous. And I hope it inspires everybody to do something to their house. I love the second floor. I think there's so many interesting spaces, so many interesting design elements, so many wonderful places to be, but you really need to see the lower level. That's where we've had a lot of fun and there's some really um, unique ideas down there.